गेम रेंटल स्लैश ऑफलाइन एक्टिवेशन सर्विस बेसिकली एनी गेम यू कैन इमेजिन आई हैव दैट लाइक कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी मॉडर्न ऑफ वन टू थ्री स्टार वॉर्स जेड आई सर्वाइवर अवतार फैंटर्स ऑफ पेंडोरा एंड मेनी मोर सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट यू कैन कॉमेंट डाउन बिलो और जॉइन माई डिस्कोड एंड कम टू द पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन द चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर अपडेटेड वे सर थ्री वीडियो वी आर बैक विथ बॉर्डर स्केट थ्री सो प्रीवियस मॉड फॉर बी जी थ्री वॉज हैविंग सम हुड फ्लिकर्स एंड जीटरनेस इन द हुड लाइक द हुड वॉज नॉट logically flickering but it was a little bit uh, jittering and stuttering so yeah i've managed to fix that and uh, we'll also talk about some other upscalers uh, in the mod folders how we can edit them and use them okay i don't want to engage to the combat right now so right now i have not activated this mod and uh, right now i'm playing it on 1080p with uh, every settings on high or ultra as you can see here now before uh, starting the mod i want to tell you few settings which need to be done uh, in order to make the mod work so first of all you will need to use the borderless window do not use full screen or windowed just use the borderless window uh, or else the mod won't work your hood will get stuck or you will face black screen so yeah uh, use borderless and after that turn off any kind of upscaler if you has uh, updated like dlss fs around 0.2 2.2 whichever you have activated just disable it and yeah uh, rest of the settings is totally up to you like high ultra mid low whichever your gpu supports and whichever your pc can uh, carry you can use that setting so with these settings uh, i have not activated the mod and i'm um, uh, right now getting around 75 78 to 80 fps sometimes so yeah let's begin the mod Okay, first uh, we will be needing this zip BZ3 FSR3 hood fixed. We are gonna extract it to the desktop. Now we are gonna copy the files from the directory. Now don't skip the video. There is some steps which you need to follow in order to make the mod work. So we are gonna go to the installation directory of BZ3. Mm, now after the installation directory, we are gonna go under the bin. And where the BG3 and BG3 TX11.exe is located, we're gonna paste the mod right here. Now, after pasting, uh, we're gonna do two things, which is first we're gonna go to the mods folder, and we will see BG3 upscaler.ini. We're gonna select it and then right-click on it and open it with Notepad. After opening with Notepad, we will see various kind of text here. So first, uh, we will need to change the upscale type. Which is basically set on zero, and zero is for DLSS. Now we wanna set it on FSR three, so you can see three is for FSR three. Uh, don't use FSR two; it's currently bugged. You can also use XCSS, but yeah, FSR three should be working for all GPUs. So yeah, we're gonna delete the zero, type the three. Now after under that, if you are an RTX card users and if you want to customly set the native quality plus DLSS DLAA. Uh, you just want to remove the three, and you want to type the zero. Like zero is for DLSS, and uh, here uh, you can see the quality level, uh, like balanced performance quality, ultra quality, and native. So native is for uh, five. Like you want to delete the two from here, and you will want to type the five here. So yeah, this is just an optional step, but I just mentioned it. So yeah, we're gonna type three here uh, for FSR three. Now we're gonna click on file and save this text file. close the text file and come back to the folder you will need to run the game from directx 11 every time you want to use the game with the mod so what you can do is select the directx 11 executable now right click on it go to send to and create desktop shortcut so and you can just rename it to bg3 or whatever you want by this method you will be able to run the game from directx 11 every time So now we're gonna run the game and see how much more FPS we're getting.
okay now we are back in the game and fps is almost similar as previous as you can see because we have not activated any upscaler or the frame gen so we're gonna go back to the option video and scroll down here now you can use the dlss if you are on rtx gpu or you can use fsr 2.2 or 1.0 so i'm just gonna use fsr 2.2 for everyone's purpose because fsr is supported to almost any gpu so now you can see the fps is boosted a little bit like uh, from 70 to near 100 uh, we're gonna even boost it further so we're gonna press the end key on the keyboard and you will see this kind of ui now we're gonna click on the enable frame generation and click on the enable hold fix and click on the end key again and come back to the game and now you can see the fps is around 144 locked like if i unlock it, it i think it will go even more higher but let me unlock it so yeah now i have unlocked it and it's now around 154 55 now if i stop recording i think it will get even over 160 to 170 maybe uh, so yeah this is fully working and you can also check that there is no hood flicker or anything the hood is totally fixed and yeah there is the smoothness is very real so yeah this will be it uh, if this video helps you uh, you can subscribe to the channel you can comment down below if you're having any issue you can also join the discord for discussing more and yeah uh, until then uh, happy gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers